GEDIC 2019 – How to evaluate the pore size along the coordinate axis With GEDIC 2019, it is now possible to compute metrics on simulation results directly in the user interface. In this example, it is shown how to compute a pore size distribution for a given structure. With the new option Compute Metrics, these results are evaluated for every slice in the z-direction. First I created an example structure which you can see here. It's a fiber structure where just the amount of fibers varies uh, in the z-direction. And on that structure I will now compute the pore size distribution here with Porodict pore size distribution. Now it's important that in the options we choose that option down here that we click the box for write pore size distribution because we need that file later. We click OK, click Run. It will just take a little moment. So now the results file of Porodict is automatically opened and I have to go to the pore size visualization tab over here and load the pore size distribution file. So just click on that here. There's only the diameter value inside, so I click OK. Now what I can see here is the diameter of the pores in the whole structure. And on that I can now compute some metrics. And that I can do up here in the upper left corner. I see here on the volume fields all results files that are currently loaded. That is now the pore size distribution GST file. And in that file there is a yield diameter and I can compute metrics on that. I just click right on it, choose compute metrics. And some are just uh, selected by default here. But what I need now is the slice mean. I can check it here and can choose the direction. I will take the Z direction and that's everything I have to choose. I click run now. And now the mean value for every slice in the Z direction is computed. I get it here in a table, which I can later export. And I also get a plot for that, where you just can see the mean value of the pore diameter depending on the slice in that Z direction. So that was everything.